It's double game week time, it's time to have some fun. As always in these usual weekly videos, we'll have a look at how my team got on last week, but most importantly, my predicted transfers, team lineup and captaincy shout for the upcoming game week 24, double game week. Let's get straight into it. So let's start off as we always do having a quick look at my previous game week before we get into the juicy double game week 24 stuff. So a quick look at my game week 23 transfers but as some of you may know I made no transfers ahead of game week 23. I rolled my free transfer. I was waiting for more news. Hopefully we get some game week 26 news as it will impact my transfers if we do or if we don't but I decided to roll it so I've got two free transfers this week. So how did this mean that my game week 23 performed as I went in pretty much as I did the previous game week? So in goal I had Martinez who returned 9 points, in defence it was pretty dire especially for that Liverpool Manchester City match where Cancelo returned just 2 and Robertson 0 after they conceded 4 but Kufal the saving grace returned 6 points which was great to see. Into the midfield, Gundogan with 13 points now. He did miss a penalty and I thought, oh dear, what's going to happen here? But he came in with two goals, so was very pleased with his return in this. Salah, a seven, ticking along, not really paying back his value at the moment. But there's not that many other players that I want to put it in, so I'm happy enough with Salah at the moment. Captain Son, now I didn't expect Harry Kane to start, but when he did start, it did give me a bit of relief because Son does seem to perform better when Kane is in the side. He got his goal, he got his two bonus points, putting him on 10 points, double to 20, so very pleased with that captaincy return. And then Fernandez, the same as Salah, a seven point to a goal, no bonus points and two appearance points. Happy enough with him. A lot of people captained him, so was happy with seven, not too much, but not a blank as well. And Harvey Barnes with a three. I've not been pleased with him since he's come in. He's playing more on that left mid role rather than the left wing, left forward we've seen from him at Leicester. So I'll probably be looking at downgrading him if I need some money. And then the dynamic duo that I will keep banging on about in Watkins and Bamford up front. I love having these two in my team. 15 points combined. A goal for Watkins and a lot of bonus points. And then just a goal for Bamford. But I cannot complain at all with these two. On my bench, I left Diaz who returned one point with a yellow card. Brewster and then Mitchell. Interesting that Mitchell got the start for Crystal Palace, but we'll wait and see exactly what that means. What this meant overall, I got 82 points, giving me a really strong game week rank of 286,000, moving my overall score up to 1,478, so a good score for this time of the season, although it would give me a higher rank. If this was previous seasons, I'd have a higher rank than I do now, but that doesn't really matter it's, it's all based on how we are relative to everyone else but I have moved up from 52k up to 35k so the big red arrow that I saw last week has pretty much been undone by the good work that my team has done in game week 23 so that's how I got on a really good game week for my team but we've got to keep pushing on onto game week 24. So as I always do, just a little bit of an update for you all on my FPL Cup match. So unfortunately, my FPL Cup journey came to an end. So actually this came to an end in game week 22, but I didn't give you guys a video there. I got knocked out by just six points. My opponent had Wan Bissaka who returned a big 17, but unfortunately, as fun as it's been, my game week 22 team was not good enough and my FPL Cup journey is over. If any of you guys are left in, let me know, but we'll go again next season. So let's start by having a look now at the Game Week 24 stuff, the reason we're all here. So first of all, let's remind ourselves of those double Game Week 24 fixtures and the players we may want to look to target. So first up, we have Everton who have Fulham at home and Manchester City at home. Two good fixtures for Everton, particularly that first one. The second one is sort of a two-pointer added on, but it's still a double Game Week nonetheless. Fulham who have Everton away and Burnley away so two good enough fixtures particularly that second one and especially from a defensive point of view I think is better um, but yeah another double game week potentially coming up for both these teams in game week 26 hasn't been confirmed but we'll wait and see on that Burnley who have Fulham at home and Crystal Palace at home again two very good fixtures particularly from a defensive point of view for Burnley so a lot of us looking at the likes of Ben Mee, Nick Pope, Loughton all in the defence um, for a very affordable price and then finally, we've got Man City who have Everton away and Tottenham at home. So 
two all right middling fixtures. They both played a full 120 minutes in the cup in midweek, scoring a lot of goals, which shows that potentially not from a defensive point of view, but from an offensive point of view, from their attack, the likes of Gundogan, Sterling, it could be a great time to invest in their assets. So first of all, let's have a look at my potential transfers out. The first one is Robertson. Now, people in the comments have been screaming at me, why do I still own him? And I question myself. He scored zero again. Liverpool don't look on it particularly from a defensive point of view it's just time for me not to own Robertson anymore I think it's got to be a sell I, there's money tied up in him that I could put in so many other better players you know you've got James Justin you've got Stuart Dallas you've got defenders with double game weeks who will just outscore Robertson easily in the coming game week so it is pretty much time to sell him Next up, we have Kufal. Now, Kufal's performed very well for me. He's got Sheffield United this game week. However, there's no double game week in the next few weeks for him. And the fixtures for West Ham turn pretty dreadful after this Sheffield United fixture. With the injury to Ogbonna as well, and the fact that Sheffield United have only failed to score in one of their last six matches, which was against Manchester City, I think there's a chance that they lose their clean sheet in this game and I know I'll want to sell him in future game weeks. So Robertson out is probably a priority. So if I do a defensive transfer, it will probably be Robertson. But Kufal is likely to leave my team in the coming game weeks. Next up, we have Brewster. I talk about him every game week. I won't dwell on him too much. It's just that I know that I'll be bench boosting in game week 26. Brewster won't have a double game week. And the chances are he's probably going to return two points anyway if he does. So I'll have to get him out for someone like Harry Kane or Antonio if he's fit. But someone with a double game week probably will be in his place. The final one is a player who's come in very recently for me in Harvey Barnes. Now, I've not been pleased with him. He's returned me three points in both games. Not looking nearly as good. I'm going to probably sell him um, to downgrade to bring in someone with maybe double game weeks in game at 24 and game at 26 and just free up a little bit of money in order to afford Harry Kane and strengthen my bench ahead of the bench boost in game week 26. So those are my four that I'm potentially transferring out, but the players that I'm looking for in their place. First of all, we've got Robinson. Now, a lot of this depends on the Game Week 26 announcements and if we get them before the Game Week 24 deadline. Fulham have a decent double Game Week in Game Week 24 and there is also a chance that they have one in Game Week 26. If this is the case, I will probably go for a Fulham defender over the likes of a Burnley defender that many people are picking. Robertson at just four and a half million. He's great. He's very attacking, plus that clean sheet potential we've seen from Fulham. Harry Kane, of course, that double game week that they could have in game week 26 is just massive. We saw the impact he has on that Tottenham team when he comes back in. He scored again in his first game week back against West Brom. So Kane will definitely be a transfer in for me if they get a double game week. And then Ben Mee. So a bit like Robinson, it may depend on if we get that Fulham announcement. The double game week in game week 24 is very nice for Burnley, but the one predicted in game week 26 is not nearly as kind as, as it is for Fulham. So that's what's really making the difference. If both have a double in 26, I'll go with Robertson. But if we get no news, Ben Mee will be coming into my team. Similarly, with a replacement for Harvey Barnes. At the moment, I really like the look of Lookman. At just 5 million, he has great goal threat for that Fulham side. He's one of their most attacking players. But of course, if that double game week doesn't get announced, I may look at someone else, maybe Decore, maybe Rafinha, a lot of these players that have a double over the next couple of game weeks. So those sort of fringe players, like those Fulham players, are up for debate. I haven't made my transfers yet, but at the moment, that's my thinking. So just to summarise that, we've got Robertson, Kufal, Brewster, Barnes, all on the chopping board, all potentially transferred out for me this week to be replaced with the players like Robertson, Kane, me and Lookman. But of course, that is all still to be decided. So with those potential transfers in mind, how will my team line up for game week 24? So that game week 24, double game week, let's get straight into how I plan on lining up. So if I had to put my hat on the line now and tell you what transfers I'd make, it would be Robertson and Barnes out. I want to free up some money. I know Harry Kane will want to come into my team, but he has Manchester City this week. But with my two free transfers, I will want to free up that money in order to get him in next week when they play West Ham. So Robertson and Barnes, both downgraded, is my predicted transfers this week. And in their place is the Fulham duo. Now, it is just these five matches in three weeks, potentially for them, if we get that game week 26 double. I will wait to see if we get news, but 
if we do this will be my transfer Robertson and Luckman both have attacking threat and that clean sheet potential for Robinson so those are my predicted transfers so how will that mean I line up we've got Martinez in goal my set and forget goalkeeper for the whole season now I can't see myself changing him Brighton away Brighton look good defensively not quite as good going forward and Villa have looked great defensively so fingers crossed for another strong points return for Martinez in game week 24 so the first defender that we have is Diaz with Tottenham and Everton. Now we have heard that he's got a little bit of a stomach bug, but fingers crossed that he recovers in time to play both these matches in game week 24. I will take that risk. We probably won't get confirmation, but even if he's out for the first game, he should be back for that second one. And I still back Manchester City to keep a clean sheet against anyone. So first defender, Diaz. Second up, we have his teammate Cancelo, who again has a double game week. Now a rest in the cup for Cancelo means I put that he's likely to start both games in this double game week Tottenham and Everton again but of course there's that attacking threat on top of the clean sheet potential that you get with Cancelo the final defender will be Robertson so he comes into my team with a double game week again so all three of my defenders could have a double game week Everton and Burnley so fingers crossed for a clean sheet and maybe an attacking return from him in this double game week into the midfield we have Gundogan so we have Manchester City triple up here I think with the coming double game weeks 24 and beyond into 26 and maybe even 27 it's really worth having triple Man City now whether this is one defender and two midfielders or two defenders and one midfielder like I've got whichever way you decide to go I really think it's worth investing in Gundogan's looked great the only thing is with the likes of Fernandinho and Rodri being out injured could he be forced to play a deeper role so that's one worth considering but it's definitely worth to have triple Manchester City. Next up we have Salah who plays in the early kickoff against Leicester. Away at Leicester have looked good defensively um, against the Liverpool side which frankly are not playing as well as they could but Salah will stay in my team nevertheless. Next up, we have Son. Again, a tricky fixture in way at Manchester City. Now, I'd probably back my Manchester City defenders over Son, but with Harry Kane coming back, you never know quite what's going to happen. I couldn't bear seeing Son return if I did decide to bench him, so Son gets into my starting lineup once again. And then Bruno Fernandes, a potential captaincy shout for many of us with a great fixture away at West Brom who are conceding goals for fun at the moment. So that fixture... For Bruno is great but will I decide to put my captaincy on it I'll have to wait and see the final one again another Fulham player we have Lookman again a double game week which is why I'm really favoring these players again it will depend on a 26 schedule announcements before the deadline but he looks great at just 5.0 should start both games the attacking threat that he offers he looks really explosive and can finish as well so hopefully a goal or an assist if I do decide to bring him in up front, first of all, we've got Watkins with Brighton away. Now, Brighton have looked very good defensively in recent weeks, only conceding in the last minute in the cup to Leicester. So I potentially see more points coming from Martinez than Watkins, but Watkins ticks along so nicely. He's such a great player. He's been so good for Aston Villa. So hopefully he can get something. If not, I'm just still happy to own him. And then the final, of course, the dynamic duo up front, Patrick Bamford, away at Arsenal. So again, a potentially difficult fixture, although injuries to Tierney and Partey could make this an easier game for Leeds than what it could have been. So that's how my team lines up. It does mean that on my bench, I have Forster, Mitchell, Kufal and Brewster. Now, Mitchell and Kufal both have really strong games this week with Mitchell being at home to Burnley and Kufal being at home to Sheffield United. Now, if I don't get news on the Fulham double game week for example I could just start Kufal or Mitchell ahead of Robinson and save my second free transfer there are a lot of things playing around in my mind at the moment about what I'll do a lot of ins and outs depending on the strategy and on the game week 26 announcements what this does mean is my vice captaincy will be on Cancelo so it has to be for me on a double game week player I know that Bruno Fernandes has that West Brom fixture but it's just those extra two points that you get if they blank twice on on Cancelo so he is my double game week 24 vice captain he got rested midweek so I expect him to play both but the captaincy armband for now is on Gundogan so again double game week Manchester City my only concern slightly is that he gets deployed at CDM but I do think that he's too important for that Manchester City attack 
for Pep to decide to do this. I think he'd rather bring Walker or Zinchenko into that midfield than move Gundogan out of the role he's been so effective in. It could be that Foden and Bernardo Silva both play in that midfield ahead of him, but I don't particularly see that happening. So Gundogan at the moment is my game week 24 captain and that is how I plan on lining up. If you do have any questions about your own teams going into Game Week 24 or particular players, do let me know. But that's all we've got time for in this Game Week 24 video, this team reveal video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe if you are not already. Let me know your questions either in the comments down below or over on Twitter. But as always, I will see you all next time.